Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Hyperion Blue GT Champion. So, it looks like I'm on the current under work. I'm about to start making the Fort Mustang Group B rally car with a screaming GoPro library on Gran Turismo Sport. So, definitely just having a little of a technical difficulty. So, looks like I just did all of it by some few specific layouts by putting on boards. Well, I kind of think I just did all of it. So looks like I'm still going on for on the work for it. So this is going to be quite good. So I might be able to start making a new one. So this will be able to do it much quickly for it. So I kind of think that making a lot of fine library designs because this is going to have to take a nearly completion for it. So looks like this is going to be quite very closer for it, folks. Because this one is going to be almost done by now. So anyway, this is going to be quite very good for having some few spaces for it. Now probably that few some other spaces might be able to be going on by now. But well, still trying to work on for this kind of this specific wing part for it. But now let's just give it a try and see if for a bit. Well kind of thing I might be able to use the TDAS logo so let's see if this is gonna have to depth out the limit to get rid of it now the angle should be able to be possibly there now it's just gonna have to make it a white font style so this is gonna be quite very good so maybe this will be able to find something else for it well, I'll just have to make sure that it will be able to delete it, this decal by now, so. But don't worry, still got more developing ways to be going on for it, because that might be taking a little early start set for it, but, you know, just gonna have to be sh quite giving more time to spare, because this is gonna have to take some time until it will be able to be done by now. So, definitely I just got all the decals on the hood to be placed up for it. So, definitely the green stripe is definitely putting on, on the Ford Mustang because that might be quite very good for a muscle rally car for it. And even so, this is going to be quite good for all the decals on the left side and the right side that will also give it much better to be improved for. Now, all I had to do is to be resumed when I last left up. So, this will be able to put on the Castro logo, will be given here. Now, let's just gonna have to see if there's any few other specific decals might need to put on. Okay, so putting on the Elk would be the right spot for the next part of it. Well, anyway, I'm just gonna make the original design board, so I'll have to make the make the same previous one board since I last left up for it. So definitely, the bully dog might be quite very good for it. So this will be able to put on the second rear. Okay, so looks like this is might be pretty almost done by now. Okay, so looks like this will be able to use any kinds of different decals for it. So I kind of think the Unilad Gaming should be quite very good for it because this is definitely the right pick for this decal for it. So maybe this will also place it right here and that might be quite very good. So just got everything set up for three color types, so I'm just going to make this library editor to be very shorter because, well, I'm just going to have to do a lot more work to be going on for it. But it's okay. I'm just going to have to do a little bit much shorter because I'm still working on for some more told from a fan art libraries to be able to make some more. So, looks like... Everything's all set for the Screaming Gopher Sport Mustang rally car, and then this will be all prepped to be prepared.
Alright, well, I kind of think this is going to be quite very good because 54 miles is definitely total from yesterday, so it looks like this is going to be quite very good. So, definitely, let's just go over to Blue Moon Bay Speedway in field course A for having the first round of the race. So, definitely, let's go over on the partly cloudy on the evening time. So, let's just going to have a one-on-one, -on -one, one make race. This will be able to do it just for having five laps. Okay, so definitely this will be able to do a grid start. And this time, this will be able to put in on group B category. So maybe this will be able to go on one make. So this will be able to be prepared for a challenge. Okay, so this is going to be pretty good. So I kind of think that this will be able to do it just fine. So, looks like official library versus total drama library because this is going to be quite very impressive for another round of the race. This is going to be quite pretty good. Well, I kind of think that I used to make this recording for the first one for it, but don't worry, it was quite giving a little remade for it because I'll have to try this again. So, looks like this is going to have to do a little technical shutdown for it, but it doesn't matter right now, but I'm just going to have to be sure because this will be able to do a commentary test. So, looks like race number one and then let's get started for it. Right, now we're going in and then this will also take a fine start. Well, actually, I'm just going to just drive for a moment because I'm still wearing the killer bass racing outfit for it. Defectionately, maybe this will be able to wear in for it. Okay, so definitely I might be able to change it in for it right after this. Okay, so it looks like this is pretty good. Really good this is gonna be one big heck of a hard time for it. So actually, it also might need to have a little update on the stripes because this is going to be quite very good to see at it. Okay, so this is going to be pretty good. Looks like the official library is coming in from behind and then looks like I'm on the lead. Just to make sure folks, I'm just going to have a one-on-one -on -one one make race event because this is going to be quite ever yet to be shown the differences of each specific library because this is going to be quite getting a little bit much better chance to do it okay looks like one gap might be giving a little bit of time away now let's just go and slide it in nice and carefully Okay, looks like Goofy Mustang is about to come back for a little bit. So it looks like it's gonna have to take a little bit much better chance to do it more. So actually, I just placed the two streaming gopher levels on the rear side of the Mustang. So this is gonna be quite able to represent the show because this is going to be quite good for a season one moment. Okay, looks like this is going to be quite pretty good and it looks like still going on at it. Well, the speed, the, the six speed is might be able to keep at it. They're on the 150 mile range to be able to go until the first turn comes. Take a little fly turn to go at it. Just take a little bit of get power fly for it until it will come back for it. Official Library Mustang really wants to take first place really badly for it. Just keep 
looked at it and said this will be able to have a 100 meter breaking point. Oh yeah, definitely other news coming up on probably by this week on on the September update because they're about to bring bring in the Fuji Speedway and then there are some 900 cars and we also saw four of them that we've just been seeing during the Gran Turismo World Tour in Austria but I guess that this is going to be giving the most awesome surprise that we just saw the on the NSX and the Nissan 300CX and also the two Porsche 911 models was actually in it so definitely the first one is the white one which is the 2001 model was actually seen in Gran Turismo 3 as a secret car well it was definitely used by Kazuyama Yamaguchi as a personal vehicle and secondly is the 2006 model of the Porsche 911 GT3 so looks like two Porsche Porsches are coming in for it because this is going to be quite very excited that this is going to be quite very impressive to see more to be discovered. Oh yeah, one other thing about the top right of the one of the nine upcoming cars coming in for it. I kind of think that it was the Dodge Viper. Well, actually it is the second gen model. Well, probably the third gen model of course because we just wanted to see something else more for it. So probably in the middle left, well, I think that it is going to be the RX500 from Gran Turismo 6 is going to be coming back in. I hope this is going to be quite pretty good for it. So definitely the top left is going to be a Subaru Impreza is going to be adding in to the game but well I kind of think that we always rostered for the 2010 model or definitely if it's going to be a, an Impreza touring car from GT5 as a DLC car pack and what about the middle one oh yeah I kind of think that would be a Plymouth retro vehicle was actually seen from Gran Turismo 6 well I'm trying to think what was the name of it. Oh yeah, the, the Cuda. Well, I'm trying to think that it was quite a 1950s retro style. It was definitely like the 60s. Well, you know, I'm just trying to think that what are the, what are the nine other cars, but we already saw four of them that we just seen here. So we'll make sure that we'll be able to keep an eye out until Polyphony Digital will let us know until the update will be arrived. So make sure players that if you're gonna have to do it, so go right ahead if you really want to try out the Fuji Speedway track by, by the first start. This will be quite very impressive. Well, I kind of think that was quite very excited for having the first round of the race for a one-on-one -on -one race. So definitely the Screaming Gopher's library just definitely come in first place, but no hard feelings asked. I'm just gonna have a one-on-one -on -one race just for a two-car challenge to see what comes for the best of it. So it looks like I'll be able to take some of the first place earnings and go on ahead. But even so, this will be able to give a little bit of practice. Well, I kind of think that I might be able to change the different racing outfits so this will be able to be very efficient. But I'm currently wearing the Killer Bass outfit so I'll be able to change different racing outfit by appearance so this will be able to do it in for okay looks like this is gonna be all full green and then let's get back in on the track now looks like this is gonna be quite very good so we're about to get ready to Hit the dirt and then let's go over to the Colorado Springs Lake. Now this time that this will be able to do a fine afternoon rally race for it. So this is going to be quite very good to see it. I hope this is going to be quite good for having another next round of the race. So probably I might be able to go professional to take the challenge against the Audi Sport Quattro S1 Pikes Peak Edition. This is going to be quite very good to be prepared. 
So five laps will be able to do it just fine. Well, penalty settings might be able to turn on and accept the leap. Replace cars by out the course will be able to use it in for. But this is going to be quite giving a little bit much tougher the difference. So it'll be able to prove the cl classic rally car can also to use any modern rally vehicles to take the best advantage. It'll be able to do it just giving the fine momentary. So looks like race number two on the Colorado Springs and this will goes in. Now let's get ready to go. Do some motocross rally racing challenge will be going in. Okay, so definitely just really getting a bad start for the swing gophers and the Audi S1 Quattro is definitely turned in by the head start on first place. Audi becomes a real expert rally car for it because Dreamy Gophers really tries to make it best advantage to go and take the lead. is about to get a little bit of boost distance away from from me. A little yell moment whenever it tries to catch up and make its first place the lead for it. Let's kill that noise up and then let's keep the dirt skills to be maintained and give it some more epic stunts. Very good. Now switch back into the interior so this will be able to give a nice better choice of a view. Okay, that was quite very good turn. This will be able to give a little bit of extreme 
rallycross to do, be focusing on the third trail, so we'll be keep it at it. Okay, steady. Do not go into the pits because that might be the bad way to slow down. Ooh, looks like very close call for sure. I kind of think that might be going on the wrong direction. Okay, looks like this is one gap distance away from the Audi. This is going to be quite very good at it. Pretty good. Looks like the handling skills on the dirt is definitely quite going epic and extreme. This will also to keep added up in it, so this is going to be very good. Okay. Just keep at it until this will be able to keep this handling stability for it. Okay, it looks like once might be good to clear. Now let's turn off the TCS and let's go freestyle. Kinda think the expert always to, to conquer the dirt. This will give it much better chances to do. Oh man, I should probably have to be avoid getting spin outs for it because that was a little hit. Okay, looks like this is going to be closer in until it looks like the final lap is about to get serious, folks. This is going to be a fierce neck on neck by gap by gap, a little bit much closer to call in. Now it's the chance to go keep at it until we throttled in. Ah oh, man, so close. I should probably need to give a little bit much hard pressure next time for it. Ah oh, man, that's so close for it because that was so close to make its way to first. Maybe you should probably have to get a better handling skills to check on the suspensions next time. Okay, so looks like this might be come out for it because the second place might be able to count for it. But you know, it was definitely just only for the best to see classic rally cars goes in by strong advantage. Dow might be able to work hard for it to get back to the training ground. So, looks like time to go reverse, and then let's keep at it on the Sardega windmills on reverse. Well, looks like this is going to have to take a little bit much harder practicing for it, because modern rally cars also get a lot more work without a turbocharged vehicle. Well, it is definitely quite giving a little bit much important for it. NA and turbocharged vehicles can also to give a little head-on rally challenge for it because this will give it much in. So looks like racing on Sardega windmills reverse so this will be able to go at it. So let's see what happens to race out for only five laps.
So this time, this will be going downhill and hill climb towards because this is going to have to take a little bit of technique exercise for it. Okay, perfectly well and impressive. Now, probably might need to add more a little torque distribution to make it better for it because this will make it into an FR drive frame to be hybridized for it. Okay, that's a pretty good jump. Now, pass on to the orange screen. Oh man, that smart. That was late breaking corner for it. Should probably have to get. Get some smooth groove and skill for it. Ah, pretty much excited to ask for it because Screaming Cobra is just gonna make one smooth turn until it tries to take chances for first place. Now, looks like this will be able to call going back in for it. Just keep it. Light to light turn, and then this will take much chance to reach first place while you're taking some much better turns for it. Okay, pretty good. Just giving a little bit of hairpin turns, we'll be able to give it a little bit downhill section style. Get back in on the gears on the double. We're gonna have to watch out for any obstacles to be coming in. Okay, very perfectly well. Now, looks like this is gonna be going in for it because the braking mark is gonna be recommended. Okay, keep at it until this will give a little bit of maintain struggle. Very well, looks like this is going to be quite giving a little concentration to be very focusing on it. Now it looks like third time's on the charm, and then this will be almost be able to get to proceed for having a second round challenge. Facing up against the Audi is going to be quite very risky. Go back in and relaunch it in for a little straight before the Audi is going to take another turbocharged chance. We will all be reaching it on the orange checkpoint mark. Okay, so looks like one gap might be giving a little bit five times the fare. Oh snap, so very close. Just trying to keep an eye out on the rear handling turns for it because this is gonna have to take a little bit much concentration to do some practicing for it. Woohoo, smooth calling in and looks like almost nearly there. You're gonna have to be very caution quickly because the Audi is definitely quite getting a little bit much time to catch up for more. Okay, now all we have to do is increase the gap distance and take some a little bit of time.
Okay, watch out. Ah, oh, man, that was so close. That was very close. That almost gets a little bit, taking a lot of amount of damage. Okay, this is it, final lap of the race. Because this is gonna be one step closer up ahead until this is gonna have to be prepared for the next round for the for part two of the one-on-one -on -one, one make challenge. Good, keep sliding in, just keep it nice and smooth. Because this is going to be giving a little bit better rub on the edges. Okay, looks like the Audi strikes back on the lead. Now, looks like this is going to have to take a little bit doing in and reaching in on the inside. On. This is going to be one last chance for this screaming gopher Mustang because this is going to have to take a lot of hard work for it. And it looks like the checker flag for the gophers has finally done it. Wow, looks like this takes a lot of hard work to take a little bit chance to beat the Audi S1 Quattro because this is gonna have to be quite very impressive to do a lot of potential work. Just all for handling performance for all that dirt driving capabilities because this is gonna be quite good to be racing on the dirt road. So this time, this will be able to do it. And look at this, daily workout complete. That was gonna be quite pretty impressive. Wow, looks like this is gonna be quite good to see it. I hope this is going to be 1% chance of getting that historic race car. So probably race cars are always be the usual. Okay so speaking of which, Group 3 Mustang is definitely adding in again. Well, it's so hard to get a 20 million historic race car but well it takes a lot of hard work to be collecting some more credits to do it so well I guess this is gonna they take one simple chance all right folks looks like this is gonna be one last final round of the race because this will be almost ready to go so this will be able to have a fine weather for a daytime board because this might be all about taking some one last chance before taking one lap to do So this time, this will be a one make challenge because this is going to have to be prepared to have one last chance. So this time, part two of the Ford Mustang one make challenge is going to be on its way. Now, looks like we're about to get ready to go. Now, this is definitely going to be the real deal. Let's just do it nice and slow until this little goes in. One lap will also just buy some time because this is going to have to take one simple chance to win.
Okay, so it looks like the official Mustang library just differently takes the head start then the screen go to the skull sand for it because this is gonna be one master of all the grapple tracks. Pretty much effort the same. So this is gonna be very good. Now going on to the straight and then this will go at it. Better take that snapshot and this is going to be one epic jump to see it. And it looks like that's another victory win. Well, looks like that was a pretty impressive run challenge for it because this is going to be quite good to be able to be set on on the cover for it. So, looks like first place earnings might be able to go in by taking one lap for a little showdown board. So that makes it a fine 32.8 miles for today's race board. So this is going to be quite good for the Screaming Gopers Mustang to get everything set. So looks like this is going to be quite very surprisingly for it. Now looks like the mileage exchange time because this will be able to be changed in by tomorrow. So P9 fluorescent color is definitely quite checked in. And then the P9 half mate is definitely now checked. So looks like all the colors, colors has been all checked out and then profile poses is Definitely all good. So, looks like that makes it a fine finishing job for the mileage exchange. So, looks like Screaming Gopers for the Fort Mustang, Group B Rally Car, and the Killer Bass for the Honda NSX Group B Rally Car. This is going to be quite very good for quite giving much more expense support for every paper toll drama teams will also to give much bigger than to have a little bit of much race to be in GT Sport. So probably in the next TD Fan Art Library, 
looks like time for our group or TDI library design for a moment because this is going to be quite able to be shown for a mystery guest. But don't worry folks, this will be able to check on it if you want to see. So folks, glad that you enjoyed this race and I hope you like this custom made design. Thank you very much. So don't forget to click like, comment and subscribe on YouTube. And don't forget the links on the description down below in case if you're interesting enough to see more. So, looks like I'll be able to continue on for the next Total Drama Fan Art Library on Gran Turismo Sport. And I'll see you guys next time. Keep on racing. Stay cool.